have here on the board <clears throat> is a typical molecule of soap. This is the primary bad actor as a contaminant in biodiesel fuel. Most of the other contaminants can be uh, washed out pretty easily, but this stuff is what will typically cause the engine problems. Uh, it, that's in there. Uh, most of the problems with biodiesel can be traced to this molecule. Typical ASTM limits for this run about 60 parts per million. Trace amounts of it can be very easily removed through an ion exchange resin. And basically what those ion exchange resins do is they exchange ions. In this case, what they do is they exchange a hydrogen ion for this sodium ion. Basically you have a positively charged sodium ion with a negatively charged molecule that's attached to. And like I said, the permissible limits for this are about 60 parts per million. When an ion exchange resin gets involved, it exchanges for this sodium ion, it exchanges another hydrogen ion, actually. And so now this molecule actually becomes a free fatty acid. Now we know that there's a certain limit to the amount of free fatty acids that are permissible in biodiesel. Free fatty acids in general we recognize as bad things to have in fuel, but the limits for this molecule in final biodiesel run about 2,500 parts per million, as opposed to only about 60 parts per million for soap. So changing a few trace amounts of soaps into some trace amounts of this is not a problem at all. Uh, it lends to much better quality fuel that can burn fine in any case of it. This process of swapping ions is very different from water washing. Um, in water washing, basically, um, here we have our uh, sodium ion back. Because this has a strong positive charge and this has a negative charge, in a water molecule, it's highly charged as well. It's typically made up of an oxygen combined with two hydrogens. And those hydrogens typically carry a positive charge while the oxygen carries a negative charge. And these can tend to grab on to this positive charge sticks to that negative charge and this negative charge sticks to that positive charge. And these will grab on to the end of the soap molecule and carry it out of the biodiesel. You end up with soapy water that settles to the bottom of your mixture and the biodiesel is relatively free of soap. So in a way, you could say that the water is sort of an absorbent type that absorbs these contaminants. Once again, this is very different from the ion exchange resin that actually chemically alters this. It actually removes that ion and replaces it with a hydrogen ion to make a whole new chemical. It doesn't just remove the soap, it chemically changes it into a new, uh, into a new molecule. Free glycerin is one that can be affected by dry wash medias. <clears throat> uh, free glycerin can cause problems because it can tend to settle out of finished biodiesel and then it will, uh, it burns unevenly in the engine, it can carry contaminants with it, it can absorb water and moisture, so it's something you don't want in your finished fuel. Um, and it is typically not acted on chemically by any of the dry wash medias, uh, but both eco pure and Thermax have absorbent capabilities and they can absorb much of the free glycerin that might be contaminating body. Bound glycerin means that uh, Basically, you have unreacted amounts of oils mixed in with the fuel, and ion exchange resins don't remove bound glycerin, and neither do absorbents. And so that's one reason why it's important to make sure your fuel is well reacted, is that the dry wash, various dry wash mediums won't finish the reaction for you, and they won't remove unreacted particles. 